about 15 years ago, uh, which happens to be the time when my photography career, wedding photography specifically career, was starting, there was this um, interesting transition happening. The whole world was switching to digital photography from film. And this process was certainly taking some time. It wasn't an overnight switch by any means. It was more like five years, maybe even more. Um, somewhat around the same time, a new breed of a wedding photographer was born. A person who was kind of more being seen as a rock star than a wedding photographer. Wedding photographers, um, I'm not saying that digital made them so, it was definitely other factors as well, but it just coincided um, with the uh, world switching to digital photography. The wedding photographers started doing really crazy things, you know, having their own very distinctive personality, um, being more bold, and uh, working with their clients in, in very different ways. So a lot of people out there we're calling them rock stars and we're even saying that wedding photographers are the new rock stars. Would you agree with that? Ludzie, znowu gdzieś jedziemy. My, my zawsze gdzieś jedziemy. Taka jest nazwa kanału, więc trzeba jeździć. Blani, where are we going again? Why are we always going somewhere? We're going to see Anastasia again. Oh, that's right. Today is the follow-up on the previous visit to Baltimore. So, we're gonna be in the most dangerous city in America again. Before we get to the safest states, the most dangerous cities in the USA, which are? Number one is Baltimore. <laughs> How wonderful. It doesn't seem that bad. It doesn't, does it? No. It's just the crime statistics that are scary. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna make it like a uh, in and out mission. We're just gonna drive in, shoot what we have to shoot, talk to Anastasia, figure out some business and get out. You're gonna do the talking. I'm not gonna do it. You're gonna do the no. talking. Are you kidding me? You just walk up to anybody that you don't even know and you say all kinds of stuff and I'm like hiding behind you. What are you talking about? You always, you are so outgoing. Completely the opposite of me. I have the accent and people laugh at me. My they own wife not, laughs at me. They do not laugh at you. My own wife mocks me every day. And so. you are completely brave. You would, I, If I told you to walk down the street and ask that guy a question, you'd be like, okay, what question? If you asked me to do that, That's I would... That's different from doing a presentation in front of people. You don't have to do a presentation. Or just whatever, introducing our business. I have not. to prepare. So, me too. So let's prepare instead of talking about it. We make promotions. We are storytellers. Well, we have to get down to the... Instead of the pretty words, we have to tell them what they were going to understand. They're going to understand the pretty words. We do pho photography and video for businesses. Yes. Right? I think though, I was going to say, I feel like that had something also to do with the internet, not just the transition to digital. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that in order to have a business for wedding photography, you don't have to have a storefront anymore. You can have a web presence and the only way people can get to know you through your web presence is by sharing stuff. So, so at that time, people were more apt to say stuff about their personal life so clients could get to know them and then become friendly with them and want to book them. And in addition to that, wedding photographers were selling to other photographers like you and me and they want other photographers to admire them and like them so branding became a big deal online. So in order to make us look at them as rock stars, they behaved like rock stars so that you would admire them and want to learn from them and be like them and get the types of clients like them. I feel like, so I kind of feel like it's more the internet that came around. It, it, it was a number of factors, yeah. but the um, core of what I'm trying to say was that uh, people kind of adopted this rockstar lifestyle and rockstar personalities and applied them to what they did for a living, which uh, 
let them have a whole new, you know, open their business up to a whole new group of clients, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. People that kind of uh, started appreciating their personality more than uh, just their work. Of course, the work had to go with everything else and still be on a high level, but uh, it let people market themselves in whole new ways. We have the equipment. Definitely take in my expensive person. All right, here we are again. We'll see what Anastasia is up to today. She's doing the uh, fancy food show recap today. So this is gonna be basically a review of what her own impressions and opinions are from the fancy food show that we attended a few weeks ago. If you guys haven't seen the video, I encourage you. Very cinematic presentation I came up with for that day. Oh. What? Do not park? Why so? I don't really understand. It says tow away, do not park. So we met through going to the fancy food show. Um, I had posted this event and that's how they found me. And so they were kind enough to come down last week when I opened my pop-up and they did a little film on me, which is amazing mm -hmm. and makes me a little embarrassed to be like on TV. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'll show that now. And then if you guys want to talk through like your process, we can do that and then oh. I'll get into my presentation. We okay. We, <laughs> we are Glani and David. Mm -hmm. We like to think about ourselves as storytellers. And we tell our stories using these tools that you see here through video and photography. We've been doing this for long years. I'm older than I look. I you know, keep fit and stuff like that. Um, we do all kinds of uh, work, commercial videos, documentary films. We've been both wedding photographers for 16 years. Very brief visit this time. We're all done. Everything's great, except for this guy. He's still looking at me. Whoever made this mural, there's some strange power to it. It's like following you around. We're out of here. Don't we need to pay for this? Oh, it has 34 minutes left. Hmm. Does it only take quarters? That's cool. You have to unlock it then. Today we found ourselves in the uh, town of Oxford, Pennsylvania. We had a client meeting here, new client. And I have a subject for this episode that um, we kind of mentioned between each other earlier, but Lonnie is not aware that this is what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to do it the natural way and I'll just start talking about it and she'll just kind of figure out what is going on while we're in a conversation already like she has she doesn't know this is going to be our subject for today i'm just going to completely run with it and she'll just jump in and share her opinion when she knows when she is realizing what we're talking about that's how it's going to happen today it's like almost like live television with very very few cuts are you happy about that I don't know. Uh, you don't trust me? I trust you. So, this morning, today, earlier, we saw something that really made us think. Um, I bet a lot of you know Casey Neistat. He's the king of vlogging. He's probably one of the most popular, most popular vloggers on the planet. He uh, redefined vlogging. He changed the industry. He, you know, um, put a completely new spin on what personal vlogging is about. I like his channel. I still watch it whenever we can. I mean, it is inspiring. It mm -hmm. is crazy. It's uh, it's absolutely awesome. But um, the question that I'm going to with all this conversation today is, I really wonder who are the rock stars of tomorrow? Because what happened on, Kay on Casey's vlog uh, today was just really, it really made us think. Like, it was really, really crazy. I know he's popular, Casey himself. But today he had a special guest on the vlog, Will Smith. 
a personality and a person that doesn't need to be introduced to anyone. So you have Will Smith on Casey's vlog and Casey kind of introduced him in his own style without the big fireworks or anything. It's just like another day and oh hey, there's Will Smith standing right next to me. Um, you know, let's just talk about what, what's going on in my life today. He generally does that with celebrities. Yeah, he, he, this is totally his he just, style. It's just another fun person on his vlog, not Oh my God, Will Smith is here! Right. I can't believe Will Smith is gonna be in my vlog. He's just yeah, like, he's just oh my, my friend David is here. Totally staying cool <laughs> about this. Then they proceed to talk about Casey's new idea, the 368, and talk about the space where you know he wants to make it a creative space for YouTubers and what's going on with that. And then something happens that just made us stop completely because they, I guess, were walking outside. They were just leaving in Manhattan, his building. In New York, they were leaving the building, they're stepping outside, and there's fans, right? Wanting Casey's signature, you know, selfie with him, um, just uh, being in awe that they are seeing Casey Neistat. And he says, guys, that there's Will Smith. Smith right here. <laughs> Why are you paying attention to me? This is Will Smith. And people were just not even looking at Will Smith. I thought it was crazy. It was insane. David and it I both was... were just looking at each other like, oh, why don't they care about Will Smith? I mean, they kind of just blew him off. He said, dude, that's Will Smith over there. And they just didn't care. Yeah. But he... they were the younger audience that I feel is... Here's the scene so you can actually see it for yourselves and, and you be the judge. You tell us what you're seeing. <laughs> Can we take a picture real quick? Yeah, you guys, Will Smith is right there. Why do you want a picture with me? I just got a buzz, dude. It's yeah. you. Play it well. You know, I, I think celebrities, movie stars are still celebrities. They're, they're movie stars, but there's definitely new kind of rock star that has been born um, during the past, I don't know, five, ten years. But I just want to put a disclaimer in here. We're not saying we're rock stars or thinking no, we're, no, about we're being that. rock stars or wanting to be we're, that. We're we realize not, we realize what our channel yeah, is. It's, we're it's, not it's, Casey Neistat. Neistat. He, Neistat. We're not Casey Neistat. He is. He has that audience that is increasingly into YouTube and no longer television and movies. It's that younger, like, what range do you think? It's 20s. Definitely, definitely on the younger side. Yeah, 20s and younger even. Teenagers to 20s who view him like we, growing up, viewed people like Will Smith. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I assume that's the majority of his audience. He pro it, he's probably being watched by a lot of different I mean, people. we're watching him. Yeah. We're not in that age range. But, um, uh, you know, we absolutely realize where our channel is. It's the nice, slow progress, steady progress, which we're very happy about. We absolutely appreciate what we have. I think we've come a long way. You well, know? we don't... Our we're, goal we're, is not to be viewed at as bigger than Will Smith in any way whatsoever. <laughs> no. This is not our goal. No, we have our aspirations, but we're also being realistic here. <laughs> and our goal is not about stardom. Our goal is about making a living, doing what we love, and combining it with our normal And we're business. storytellers, so we're just passionate about telling stories. This is, this is why we do this. The question here is, and we're hoping maybe we'll inspire some discussion about this, who do you guys think are the rock stars of tomorrow? Because obviously uh, all this is shifting with the changing world and social media is playing a gigantic role in all of this. So what do you think is, is, is coming next? I definitely you know? think YouTubers and gamers for sure. When you first started talking about um, rock stars and wedding photographers and I had no idea where you were going with this, I thought you were going to segue into how you were a rock star and that woman <laughs> liked your video. When was I a rock star? <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. I'm sorry. That's I okay. No, 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 that's okay. No, I'm so sorry. No, I'm don't worry. Anything. We just met with a wedding client and they brought up that video where you were on the crane and you were showing your personality to get more wedding clients. So that's not what you were doing? No. <laughs> well, now <laughs> you can put it on the vlog. I just gave you the segue. We're about to climb the roof of that building and arrange, we're gonna try to arrange the bridal party among the letters. And we're going to try and shoot it from the other side of the street using a boom lift. So we're actually gonna be pretty high in the air. 
This is um, a bit crazy, but hopefully everything works. Anyway, this has been a great day, great few days. Thank you guys for um, giving us your attention. We really appreciate it. Thank you for all the likes and subscriptions. We're gonna see you in just three days again. Kto pamięta grę Drop Zone na Atari? Oj, cieło się kiedyś, ale było.